It's 36 past 11. I'm going to just pause this. I'm going to pause that now. Otherwise, we may... Look, look what I'm watching here, folks. The documentary, We Are Twisted Fucking Sister. Here it is. I've been watching this this evening. Now, I did say last night, is it too late to start watching something after 11? It's now, what is it, 11.36? But it is Saturday night, and I uh, have been boozing. And this is the best time to watch a music documentary. Now, why did I just move from there to here? Well, the reason I moved across is because last night when I did my daily vlog and I realized how tired I looked and how lousy that daily vlog was because I'm rubbing my eyes and leaning against the pillow, I thought, no, if I'm going to do my daily vlogs at these hours, then they're going to have to be engaging. Right now, this is engaging. I'm watching... There, yeah, twist it. And, and by the way, <laughs> there may be some alcohol in here. This um, this documentary was recommended. I'm going to say Papa Goth. Was it Papa Goth who recommended I watch this? Papa Goth is a giver on the Gives a Minute D Live stream, not the YouTube D Live. I know this is YouTube, this daily vlog. This is going on YouTube. But this came as a recommendation from, I, I believe it was Papa Goth. I hope I got that right. If it's not Papa Goth, it might have been Solid Snarf or scallop taters. But either way, the point's the same. We have had such a rad time on the D-Live with the cap game and all the musical uh, connections and all the musical references and all the musical like tie-ins and the way music works, right? Like I've, I know Twisted Sister. Everybody knows Twisted Sister. We're not gonna take it, right? Everybody knows this band, but I've never actually sat down and learnt about them. And so I'm learning through this documentary and then potentially I'll go and research all of their music after the fact. And that's what I love about music and that's what I love about the D-Live. And I love that, that we can play commercial music and talk about it and learn about it. We're all, we're all broadening our horizons. It's amazing. Yeah, like, like I said, I, I didn't even know D. Snyder was the front man in Twisted Sister. I'm like... I'm going to confess this. I know I know music and I know a lot about music, but I did not know that. I've obviously seen D Snyder on plenty of festival bills. I've seen the name, I recognize it. I've obviously seen Twisted Sister before. I know the name, I recognize it, but I didn't know the connection, right? They were talking about one of their first gigs. They're talking about in like 1975 we were playing, you know, five nights at the at the I I D B I I M B I D I some bar in Manhattan. Well, I got news for you. I wasn't even born at this point when what they're talking about. So I I have that leeway, right? Where I have the leeway where I can go back in time and learn, and that is what is so amazing about music. It's still super rad even though this was happening before I was born. I'm 44, you know. I'm 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 not young, but far out. There's so much cool music out there. To counteract that, two years ago, I said to myself, I am not going to accept any new music. You know, I've got a music website across the ocean. I get sent, PR send me a lot of music. This, not this time, two years ago on January, I said, all right, was it two years or one year? Shit. It was this year. No. What year are we in? 2019. It was last year, the beginning of 